Hi everyone, welcome to New York City. We are at Manhattan's Chelsea Piers at the Brunswick event, checking out a bunch of new models. One of the stars here is the Boston Whaler 280 Dauntless. It's brand new here, first day people are getting out on the water. Let's just take a look at some of my favorite features. The real name of the game with this boat is versatility. You know, they, they call it a bay boat, but taking it out into New York Harbor with a lot of waves and confused action, you can really see that this boat would be comfortable with some short seas. Versatility starts back here with the engine options, a number of different options. We have the twin 300 Mercuries that allow you to have the joystick maneuvering. Another cool thing with this boat is that this model is equipped with the Sea Keeper 1. Amazing how Sea Keeper is getting on, on these smaller and smaller boats. Another one in the Whaler family. Huge seating area here with tons of storage. They have a sunshade aft, that's an option. And what I like is the full glass enclosure. You have the area here to, to crack the window and get some, get the breeze in your face when you want it, but it's also nice to be protected from the elements when you're cruising longer. Plenty of seating. I like this too, that you have easy access to the ladder your tackle. Storage everywhere. This one's a little tricky with, with one hand. So on a boat on this size, you really got to take advantage of all the different space. And I really like what they did here. You got the option of the table storage. And under here, on a number of the different Dauntlesses, they have enclosed rod storage. So you can, you know, check into the hotel, Leave your poles locked up. Also kind of a smart thing with the storage here. They said that it was, it's such a big, deep space that it was kind of like hard to reach all your stuff at the bottom. So Whaler did this custom bag that you could put your swim gear and the things you want quickly right within hand's reach. Plenty of seating. And again, just a lot of different options. So if you want to fish the boat, there are those options. If you're more of a family cruiser, there's that too. But really, I think the boat is best suited to do a little bit of both. No, no. I'll stay tuned for more on the 280 Dauntless in an upcoming issue of Power Motor Yacht.